Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be talking about the Air Quality Index or the AQI score as well as the different precautions we can take in order to minimize our exposure to these pollutants. And so the first thing to make note of with the AQI score is that higher is worse. Higher means that it is more unhealthy to you. And so what uh, the AQI is looking at is a composite index of different pollutants that we know of. And among these pollutants are things like PM2.5, and PM2.5 is kind of the really serious one. It's one of the very serious ones because these are very, very small diameter particles that are able to enter your lungs and your bloodstream and do a lot of damage, and long-term exposure can lead to some more serious chronic respiratory diseases like asthma. Um, so basically, you, you really don't want to be exposing yourself to too much of this stuff. Uh, and sources of PM2.5 are forest fires like we've got right now in California, as well as burning coal or uh, the emissions that come out of tailpipes of diesel and uh, gas-powered cars is another great source of these PM2.5 particles. So you want to avoid breathing this stuff in because it does do a lot of respiratory damage. Um, and so these particles, 2.5, or they have a size of uh, at most 2.5 microns and for reference if I was to pluck one of my hairs right now and we were to pull it up this way and look at the diameter that little width that width is about 50 microns and so if we were to take 1 20th of that width that is um, the biggest size of these class of pollutants that are currently in the air right now from all these forest fires and car emissions so um, these are really, really tiny things that are able to slip in between and into your lungs and do lots of damage, and so you want to avoid your exposure to these. The other types of pollutants that the AQI is looking into are things like PM10 pollutants. This is a class of particles that is known to do damage to our humans because it has a size of less than 10 microns, but still greater than 2.5 microns. So these are slightly bigger particles, so they can't get as deep into our tissues, so they don't do as much damage, but they still do a decent amount of damage, and it is known to cause uh, throat and eye irritation, as well as uh, some more respiratory issues. So you don't want to expose yourself to too many PM10 pollutants. And then finally, um, AQI also takes into account a lot of other uh, molecules that are not good for us like nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, ground level ozone, sulfur dioxide, and others. So basically um, AQI is representing a bunch of different pollutants that are in the air right now and higher again is worse. So you just want to make sure that on days where there's high AQI scores that's not a good day that you want to be inhaling too much of the air outside. Um, and so the other thing that I want to make a note of here is basically how do you protect yourself uh, and, you know, we've got all these different masks on the market. You don't know what's good and what's bad. Um, N95 masks are probably some of the most popular types of masks you're seeing on the market today. Um, these are one of the highest grades of masks, and what uh, they refer to is the fact that uh, you get the N95 rating if you're able to prove to the U.S. government uh, or the specific agency that when someone is wearing an N95 mask properly, that the that 95% of particles that are greater than 0.3 microns are filtered out. And so what that is equivalent to saying is that, um, you know, if we're looking at PM 2.5 pollutants and, uh, you know, how much would I take in with a normal breath versus how much would I take in with a breath wearing an N95 mask is I am reducing my exposure to these pollutants by at least 95%. So, um, that doesn't mean that your exposure goes to zero. It, it means that, you know, it's at least as good as taking one breath of, uh, or taking, you can take 20 breaths through a respirator when things are super bad, and you would be exposed to the same level of pollutants as taking one breath without wearing the N95 mask. So this thing is really helping block out a lot of the smoke particles and these car emission particles and all these other really toxic things. These things have been shown to help reduce your exposure it does not mean that exposure goes to zero, but it does help improve the uh, effects or the toxic effects of all the air that is currently out there. So if you are really going to want to go outside wearing an N95 mask, it's going to really help reduce your exposure significantly to these harmful particles that are currently in the air. Um, the other thing that 
uh, you might read about when you are looking up the AQI scores is the some agencies uh, like AccuWeather will report the actual micrograms per cubic meter of this stuff. So um, for PM 2.5 um, on AccuWeather, I just looked it up for my area, stated that we have a concentration of 113 micrograms per cubic meter. So that means there's 113 micrograms of these particles that are less than 2.5 microns in diameter um, that are in one cubic meter of outside air. So um, this corresponds to an AQI of 163, so this is pretty bad. Um, and if we look at a PM10 score, um, that one had 135 micrograms per cubic meter of stuff per each uh, cubic meter of air, and that corresponded to an AQI score of 134. So um, basically what you're able to deduce from looking at these different readouts is that the PM2.5 particles are doing more damage, they are more toxic to us than uh, the PM10 particles because of the fact that uh, they are mapping to higher AQI scores, which means there's more serious uh, health effects associated with your exposure to this. So um, I'm going to wrap things up here for this video. Um, basically the gist of it is if COVID-19 wasn't enough to make you guys want to wear masks outside, the forest fires that are going on right now in California are another big huge reason you should be wearing these masks and preventing exposure to these particles because they will do long-term health effects if you're not careful and you will pay for it later on um, so please be safe wear masks if you're gonna go outside um, the other way we can of course reduce our exposure is by not going outside but frankly you know it is tough to, to not go outside so if you're gonna go outside make sure to wear an N95 mask or something that you know is able to reduce your exposure to these types of pollutants to an acceptable level. Um, I'm going to uh, close things up for this video. Hope it helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Please stay safe, wash your hands, wear these masks, listen to what the health officials are telling us, and I'll talk to you all next time.